All right, all right, Israel. Let's get down. Hallelujah. Bashama Mashiach. Yeah, how was shy? All right, good to be back, Israel. Now, let's get down. We got a lot of bullshit going on, okay? And we got a lot of brothers that's bringing a lot of this on, a lot of discord in Israel. Now, I know a lot of you like to hit me up and talk about, oh, we need to pray for them. We ain't praying for the wicked. You understand that? And um, as it relates to what they can do from here, what they can do is seek repentance. You understand that? But they got to seek it. They can't come to me. I can't do it for them. You understand that? So we're going to let you understand today. Repentance is not a New Testament, so-called New Testament concept okay we can go back before the new testament before our mashiach ever walked the face of the earth and we can see yahweh offered your ass repentance you understand that and you better take it okay niggas is sitting on their ass i got my little nephew in the house right now he's sitting on his ass like this is a joke yeah i'm talking to him he's sitting there right next to me let this be a testimony OK, because many of you are sitting on your ass. And guess what? We're going to learn tonight. It ain't that simple. Repentance is not all that it's about. You think, oh, I'll repent and I'm straight. No, 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 no. There's a catch. Yeah. How will offer you a you offered you repentance at a cost? You see that? So we're going to find out what that cost is. And guess what? Just as it is that you're thinking to uh repent change your ways come back to the most high do his laws keep the faith okay you're gonna find out you got some service to put in uh-huh this ain't uh a matter of you can go sit back on your ass and you think you keep your beard put your fringes on which i got right here which this brother right here does not you see that israel which many of you do not what the fuck make you think that you can get away with that? I want to know that. I want to know how it is you got in your diseased mind, okay, that you can pick and choose what commandments that you will uh, observe to do. The Lord commanded Moses that the children of Israel do all these commandments, not some of them. You see that? You want to die. That's what I'm preaching. Enough of the bullshit. We're done with the Mexicans. Okay? We're done with the camps. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something where I have to come and renew this banging session on their ass. But for the most part, it's a done deal. Okay? Judas Israel is a done deal. Now, it's time that I preach fire unto your ass. That's what our Mashiach is coming back to do. Not have coffee and donuts with your ass. You understand that? Moses was commanded to, to, to tell the children of Israel they are to do all the commandments of the Most High. Not what you feel like. Okay? Now, we're going to get into uh, repentance not being a so-called New Testament concept. This concept been around. You understand? You got to be converted. By the word of the most high and in your conversion, you are going to turn in if it so resonates with your spirit into one that asks no questions, but quickly makes haste to follow and observe to do all the commandments down to the fringes, down to your beards. You understand that down to the Sabbath, every fucking commandment. You understand that? And we ain't dealing with those that don't do it. You know what we're going to do? Tell him to hit the goddamn road. I don't give a damn if this is my nephew. You understand that? And he's sitting right here. You understand that? And I don't give a damn. My brother, my mother, what the most, what the hell my shy I tell you? To hate them. That's what he told you. You see that? He told you to hate those. He don't give a damn if you're, it's your daughter. Your daughter got a goddamn recital on the Sabbath. You think he give a shit about that? What the fuck he look like? You see, you niggas need to stop playing. But guess what? Ain't no thing. You will stop playing. Your judgment is coming. You understand that? Like I told you, it's time to preach fire unto Israel. You understand that? I ain't got to be dealing with these uh with these other nations. 
we already know what their judgment is going to be. Their ass is going into captivity. Ultimately, they will be destroyed. You understand that? But you, Israel, you, you, you are about to read about repentance. The opportunity the Most High God of Israel gave unto your ungrateful ass. You understand that? To make your way back. But if you forsake, if you forbear, your ass going to burn. That's how simple it is. Okay. Now, let's go to Ezekiel in the 33rd. Let's see what Yahweh has to say about the duality of his message. Repentance and then blowing the trumpet. That's a command. That means you are to teach. How long have I been teaching you to teach Israel? You understand that? Still, I got people following this channel. What the fuck you doing following my channel for? You should have a channel. You understand that? This ain't no celebrity contest. I ain't no goddamn celebrity. You understand that? Now, again, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coasts and set him for their watchmen, if he, if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not the warning, if the sword come, and take him away. His blood shall be upon his own head. That makes sense, does it not? What don't you understand about that? Trumpet was blown. You heard it. You did not take the warning. When the sword comes, your blood will be upon your own head. Tell me that don't make good sense. And we're going to walk down and we're going to see about the, the sensibility of your Lord in heaven. You understand that? Now, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not the warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. You see this? Okay, we're going to get deeper. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet. You understand that? You're sitting here right now. You have to ask yourself, are you blowing the trumpet? Are you telling Israel? Do we need to go to Isaiah 58 and 1? I think we will just a moment. All right. Let me read that again. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet because they too busy on their goddamn Instagram pages. You see that? Or singing. You understand that? Or taking care of their damn babies. You see, talking about they got to have this and that. And they got to go to a damn bridal shower. Or they got to go it's stupid, some stupid ass event at their school. Ask Yahweh, don't he give a fuck? You see that? He does not. All right, we're going to read on. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned if the sword come and take away any person from among them his he is taken away in his iniquity so he gonna die in his iniquity he didn't want to do what he he didn't want to take heed to the trumpet he thought no nah, i'd rather figure out uh what my next move is in the world i can get me some money how, I can, uh, how many followers I got on goddamn Twitter? You see that? He didn't want to hear the trumpet. Okay? But he did hear. Now. And if the people be not warned, if the sword come and take away any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood. But his blood is real. Will I require at the watchman's hand? All of us are the watchmen. Okay? All of us. Israel is a servant. 
as a whole, collectively, a servant of the Most High God of Israel. Serving means to do what the fuck he told you to do. You understand that? And what he told you to do was blow the trumpet. OK, told you, let Israel know your know their sins. Let's go to Isaiah 58 and one before I go any further. Isaiah 58 and one for the niggas that act like they don't fucking hear. You understand that you do hear you saying fuck with your how was talking about. You see that you saying fuck with your how was talking about the hell with your how was shy is talking about. I'm busy. I'm doing my own thing. That's what you saying. Now, Isaiah 58 and one cry aloud. Spare not. I give no shit about my nephew's feelings. What I give a shit about is his salvation. That's what I care about. Not feelings. You understand that? Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. You see that? Like a trumpet. Not like a goddamn flute. You understand that? And show my people their transgression, their sins. And the house of Jacob, their sins. Okay? Now, back to Ezekiel in the 33rd. We're going to pick up at the 7th verse. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Warn. What the hell you need to be warned from? Unless something real dangerous is coming. And it is, as has it always come upon the asses of Israel. How in the fuck you think you in captivity right now? I know you think you having a good time. Oh, my Instagram page. I got music to make. I'm going to the mall. Buy whatever the fuck I want to buy. That's what I'm concerned with. I ain't thinking about Yahweh and what the fuck he's talking about. Okay? Think again. You are, going, you are going to deal with it. Not only are you going to die, but you are going to be raised up. You understand that? You are going to deal with this no matter what. Ain't no getting away. You understand that? When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thine Hand. That's what Yahweh was talking about. Okay. I offer you repentance. Okay. You got a way to get back to me. I gave my one and only begotten son for your ungrateful ass. He died on the cross for you. Okay. That you might have a way back to me because I divorced your ass. You see that Israel. Okay. You have to get, you have to have intercession. You can't come holler at me. Okay. You niggas love these damn, uh, these uh, what are you, these these uh, these gangster flicks. Oh, you can't just pull up and go talk to the main man. You got to go through some motherfuckers. Same thing here. You have to go through your Howard shot, okay, to get to the father. You see that? Now, when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Because you didn't do what you were supposed to do and warn that man from Yahweh. Okay? Now, nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. No doubt, that's on him. But the trumpet was blown. You did what you were supposed to do. Let's see what it says. But thou who blew that trumpet, thou righteous servant, has delivered thy soul. You see that? I'm delivering my soul right now. I'm working on it. 
You see that? Because I'm out here blowing the trumpet right now. This ain't Friday night. I ain't at the strip club. Okay? I had my day. Okay? Thank God. Holla wire. He pulled me out of that. Gave me a chance. I took it. How be it you ain't taking it. Gave your ass the same chance. If you know you Israel. You see that? Now let's read on. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? That's a good question. We're going to get the answer. Say unto them, As I live, saith Lord God, Okay. I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But that the wicked turn from his way and live. That's the desire Yahweh has. That you turn from your wickedness and live. He take no pleasure in your death. Okay. Now. Turn ye. Turn ye from your evil ways. For why will you die, O house of Israel? That's the question being posed before you. You got to answer it. Because when I look around, I look around, I see a bunch of niggas that's dying to die. They're working overtime to die. You understand that? To die in their iniquity. Okay? Make me almost think I'm wasting my damn time. But it ain't about that. What I'm doing is as were I commanded. And I'm blowing the trumpet. All right. Therefore, son of man, say unto the children of thy people, the righteousness. Listen to this good Israel. The righteousness of the righteous shall not Deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness. Listen to the deal that's being offered to your ass. You understand that? Listen to the thing. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. You see that? We're going to get deeper into it. When I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live if he trust to his own righteousness and, to, and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered. You see that? If you turn from your righteousness, Let's say you had attained to righteousness. If you turn, turn from it and move therefrom to your iniquity, all your righteousness don't mean a damn thing. That's how serious this shit is. Why you sitting around here bullshitting around, worrying about a bunch of punk pussy shit. You understand that? That ain't what this is. You understand? This shit is hardball. You hearing the thing right now? You see, let us move on. All his righteousness shall not be remembered before his iniquity that he has committed. He shall die for it. How simple is that? You see that? And this ain't no one simple fleshly death. Your ass got more to worry about. You see that? We talking about your house. We ain't talking about some damn pansy on a television show. You see that? This, 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 this father of ours in heaven. What cannot he do? Answer me that. Now I'm going to roll on again. When I say unto the wicked, thou, thou shalt surely die. If he turn from his sin and do that which is lawful and right. If the wicked restore the pledge, give again that he had robbed. Walk in the statutes of life without committing iniquity. He shall surely live. He shall not die. You see that? Let's let's hear the thing real good. Listen to the deal your ungrateful ass is being offered. You see that? Now, none of his sins that he hath committed 
shall be re, re, even mentioned unto him. That's the deal of how Yahweh was giving your ass. He said, if you turn from your wickedness, come back and restore the pledge. If your wickedness won't even, your sins will not even be mentioned. That's how I get to sleep at night. Okay? Knowing all the bullshit I've been up to. Okay? In my life. I was given this deal right here and I took it. And I take it. And I restore every day the pledge to turn and never turn back. From my wickedness. Okay? That's why I'm in here doing this lesson right now. I can't watch no TV. I can't go out and get with my wife and go have me some fucking drinks. How about the strip club? I used to love that. Okay? How about that? I can't get me, go get me five broads. Okay? Have me a good old time, snort me some coke, smoke a few blunts. I can't do that. Not now. You understand that? We're gonna read in Hebrews too. We're gonna go find out about your ass when you have heard the word and you still say, I ain't worried about that. We're going to find out about it. But right now in Ezekiel, we're hearing from Yahweh. You see that? We read that again. None of his sins that he hath committed shall be mentioned unto him. He hath done that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. That's what this is about. Surely living. That's what you're trying to attain to. Life. These words are life. You see that? Life ain't in your lungs. These words are life. That, that, that shit, that, 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 that breath in your lungs, that's coming out of there every day. I ain't got the same breath I had when, my, when I was my nephew's age, when I was 26. You see that? Okay. And what about my father with his wicked ass? He ain't got no damn breath in his lungs. You understand that? Life is these words. If you have these words and you observe to do the commandments the way that they were laying down before you, you will get your new body. You won't have to be worried about no breath. You see that? Now, let's listen to this. Let's listen to this real good. Yet the children of thy people say, the way of the Lord is not equal. Really? They say the way of the Lord is not equal. He ain't right in here. He is not right in this. Okay. But as for them, their way is not equal. That's what the Lord's telling your ass. Why you flapping your duck bill. You see that? Your way is the way that's not equal, nigga. When the righteous turneth from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, he shall even die thereby. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. Really? That don't sound equal to you? Let's, let's finish reading. Yet ye say, yet ye say, Israel, the way of the Lord Yahweh is not equal. How be it? Do you not hear the deal that's being put on the table? Show me a better deal you get. You live in this wicked ass system, in this wicked ass kingdom, up underneath the so-called white man. When the fuck's he offering you a deal like that? You see that? When you run up, when you run up fifty thousand dollars in taxes, let me see you go before them, and let me see him tell you, you don't owe me nothing. You straight. The books is clear. Show it to me. I'm gonna roll on. And it came to pass. I'm, I'm, I, I, you know what? And ye say the way of the Lord Yahweh is not equal. O ye house of Israel, I will judge you every one after his ways. That's the deal. That's the situation. You understand? You are offered repentance. This ain't so-called New Testament. You thought maybe it was a new concept. We're reading in the prophets, you understand? Ezekiel, and the deal was laid down by Yahweh that you can turn from your wickedness and come back and repentance will be given unto you. You understand that if you change the deal, the offer of repentance is given to you. At what cost? He told you, blow the trumpet. You understand? Now, it goes back to loving your neighbor like you love yourself. 
I've been over this. You understand that? If I care enough to, to keep the commandments myself, but I let my nephew, but I let another one of my brothers and sisters be evil and wicked with, in their ways without blowing the trumpet and rebuking their ass as were I commanded before all that all may fear. You see that? That's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm putting my nephew on the spot right now. He didn't, ex he didn't expect this. I don't give a damn, no. You didn't expect it either. I'm rebuking you before all Judas Israel, young Jaidan, and anybody else in the fuck, uh, General Yohanna, Nathan, you, you, any of you other lying bastards. Like I told you, I, 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 listen, I dream to meet you niggas face to face. You see that? This is a dream I have of mine. Okay? Now, let's say that, uh, let's say you're somebody that heard the trumpet. All right. Let's let's read over here. I got one more thing I want to go over with you. Let's say you're somebody that did hear the trumpet when it was blown. OK. And you say, yeah, you know, I, I heard the word and I and I'm and I'm, I'm listening. I'm coming back. I went and caught me some fringes. I keep the Sabbath. I keep my beard on my face. I do the commandments. Right? OK, good, good, good. You're working on your spot. You're working on coming and entering in the gates. You see that? Now let's go over here to Hebrews in the sixth chapter. Let's hear. Let's hear about some things. Hebrews sixth chapter. Get with me now. Hebrews in the sixth. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine, doctrine of Hamashiach, let us go on unto perfection. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward Yahweh, of the doctrine of baptisms and of laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. And this we will, and this will we do if God. Yahweh will permit. Check this out. Now, here it is real good, Israel. This is the other side of the matter. If you don't understand this, you're going to be in your own understanding. You're going to do what I imagine, whatever the fuck it takes for you to get yourself to sleep at night. OK, you're going to bullshit yourself, but you will not be able to say you didn't hear it. Hebrews six and four, for it is impossible. For those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. Here the thing. If they shall fall away. To renew them again unto repentance. All that we've just read in Ezekiel 33. That chance that you were given by the Heavenly Father to bring your ass back. Okay, let's say you received it and you started to observe to do the commandments. You thought you were big shit and you were. Okay, we'll give you that. And then you decided to fall away from it, thinking you in some truth. What truth? OK, knowing the truth and being in it is two different things. OK, now. And if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, it's impossible. If you heard the word, it says, OK, you were enlightened. You've tasted the heavenly gift. OK, and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. OK. And have tasted the good word of God, Yahweh. Okay? And of the powers of the world to come. You think that sounds good? Heaven is sitting there for time it was prepared before the foundations of the world for your ungrateful ass. Yet now you turn, you fell away. I don't feel like keeping no damn Sabbath. I don't feel like doing what Yahweh told me to do. 
I'd rather do my own thing. So you knew it and then you fell away from it. OK, it said, for it is impossible to renew unto your ass repentance. It's over. It's a done deal. You playing games. You knew what the deal was. You heard it. You received it. You began to perform. And then you decided to say. I'm going the other way and you fell away. Now, it's impossible to renew your ass unto repentance. So fuck around not. Okay, let me finish the thing. Seeing they crucify themselves, the son of God, Hamashiach Yahawashai, afresh, all new. It's like putting him back up there on that cross all over again for the first time. And put him to an open shame. That's what you're doing. That's why I call you an ungrateful son of a bitch. And if I did it or any other man, woman did the shit. We are the same in our ungratefulness. You understand that? Now. I think I've made the point. I think you've heard it. Okay. And if you haven't. Hit up on the goddamn comment board and let me know what kind of stupid shit you got on your mind. You understand that? Because this here is clear. The word of Yahweh is clear. The word of Yahweh Shai is clear. You've been offered repentance. Take it. You understand that? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And to attain to it, you must repent. That's what you must do. Ain't no might. Ain't no might be. Could be. That's what you must do. All right, Israel. Now I had to come unto you. I hope that this sinks deep within your psyche, resonates with within you profoundly. And I hope you observe to take heed and do as you were commanded. Alawaya by Shamamashiach Yahawashai. Okay? Till I come back unto you, Lord will. Israel, we're going to find out what else is true and what else is false. Aloha.